It looked like the defense was having the early running, but the offense came on strong. Yeah, they did. I thought all in all, it was a good physical practice for us. You know, and when you think back, you know, it was one of our longer ones that we've had in a while. But you know, they've got a couple days off now, and, and to go all the way, and you think back to the goal line situation, uh, to the seven on seven stuff in the red zone, to the blitz period in the red zone, and then that the actual scrimmage, I thought both sides flashed at times. You know, and. Uh, the defense, I was really impressed with their intensity at the start of the actual just outright scrimmage part of it. Uh, but to the offense's credit, when we kind of took a little halftime break, they, they regrouped. And I think, you know, three of the four final drives, I think, were touchdown drives for them. And so, uh, all in all, it's a great day. I, I love the fact that we're able to rush the passer. Um, that put a smile on my face today to watch Shirley and Jamora and those guys coming off the edge. And, um, you know, I, I think we have, might have had seven sacks in that period, you know, so it was uh, an impressive day that way. Um, but at the end of the day, what, what I, I appreciated as well, the other way was our ability to lean on the run game to get right, and then ultimately Chris snapping off a long run after maybe having a little bit of a frustrating day prior to that. So you're not overly discouraged at all with the offense in that session? No. Was that was it designed to be a long practice or was that yeah no no it was set up that way I was hoping by the end of practice when you tallied up practice it would be about a hundred plays and uh, that's about where we were at that the last segment was just under sixty uh, the goal line period was ten or eleven excuse me uh, the blitz period was another ten and then the seven on seven period was was twenty plays there so we got just about a hundred plays done which is uh, which is what we were striving for and do you feel any differently about your defense after that session than maybe you you didn't come in or? Well, you know, I like a couple things about who we are right now. One is we've got experienced corners that, that are used to playing man coverage and are getting more and more comfortable doing that. So it's allowing us to, to call more man things and be able to, to get into some real rush situations with five-man rush and work in our games. And, it, and it's allowed our guys that we're hoping can be that much of an impact rushing the passer show up. And, and that, that, that came today. Um, I, I was overly impressed by them with their ability to really, especially early in the scrimmage, to defend the run. You know, we defended the run. Um, better than maybe I was anticipating, and, and you know that goes twofold. That I don't know if maybe that's some missed assignments on offense. We have to see the film that way. But uh, I thought all in all, it was a, it was a sound game that way. Um, offensively, I'm encouraged by the fact that there's no turnovers after 100 plays a day. We, you know we're not turning the ball over, um, but on the flip side, we got to create more. You know, so everything kind of goes hand in hand uh, when you're wearing when you're wearing the head coaching hat. You know, and, and you're looking at ways to you know, we've got to try to create more turnovers and hopefully with of those seven sacks, somewhere in there, maybe the ball's getting knocked out when the sacks are coming, but we're obviously blowing it dead in this setting.